Hello, YouTube. What is up, everyone? So, we got kind of a different video for today. Just kind of a more chill video, you know, no scripts, no uh, planning, really. We just wanted to talk about something that's very important. Yes, and that's the game series Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. kind of put emphasis Kingdom Hearts. Or Kingdom Hearts. There we go. So yeah, we wanted to talk about Kingdom Hearts, just casual conversation. Because um, hopefully in the next couple months we should be getting some more information on Kingdom Hearts 3. It's been a long time yeah. since that, that last trailer came out. Um, it, like in July? I can't remember, I'd have to check. But yeah. since then we haven't really gotten any information and uh, there's been some rumors that there's there's uh, like an ultimate pack coming out soon. It has like Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, and 2.5, only one for wow. PS4 coming. So if that does happen, then I'll probably most definitely <clears throat> play through the games all over again. I wanna kill myself. Well, if, if we're not gonna play in hard mode or whatever the modes are. Even on regular mode, those extra bosses, Kingdom Hearts 2. We didn't play a nightmare. Uh, no. Okay. okay, so we played, so last year we decided to, to, to beat the games 100% yeah. for the first time. I don't know if it's the first time here. Definitely the first uh, time in my life completing Kingdom Hearts uh, 1 and 2. In Kingdom Hearts 1, the first time I played when I was like 16, 17 or whatever, I think the only boss I did beat was uh, the Clock Tower one. And I definitely did not get the Ultima weapon. How many, how many hours did you spend getting that? Because I watched oh her. I yeah. watched her I get remember, the Ultima weapon. Because like when I played the, the first game so much that I got to like level like a hundred. I think that's like the highest it goes up to. I'm not sure. Like yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a hundred. But I, I did so much exploring in every world. So then you find other bosses that you could defeat. So like there was one in Agrabah. The yeah, sand, in the, in the and desert. The, and, and then the top the tower one. The Neverland. And, um. Um. I think, I, think, uh, I think the rest were just the Titans in Coliseum, right? Yeah. You got the Ice Titan. I think he did. I can't remember. Oh, and he also got Sephiroth, obviously. Oh, yeah. Um. Yeah, like. Yeah, I would say with, uh. The bosses that were at the clock towers. Yeah, and... well, we'll start with Kingdom Hearts One. Yeah, uh, let's talk about those bosses. Yeah. Now, who was your favorite boss in Kingdom Hearts? 1? Your favorite to fight? You thought was what? Oh God, um, I, I have to think about this. For me, yeah. Kingdom Hearts One. Um, okay, I will say. Oh man, that's a tough one. Probably. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna say Sephiroth yeah, was, was my favorite yeah. because he was so challenging. Yeah. But but what's funny is they change it in the re-release version. How? Because the way I beat Sephiroth in the first one was because of the MP rage, I believe. Yeah. Called, Every where, time you like uh, hit a person or hit a heartless or whatever. No, uh, I think it's every time they hit you. There's one that where every time you hit them and then. MP Rage is oh, the one every time they yes, hit yes, you. Yes. So the more damage they do to you, the more MP you get. I thought like there was another one where you, it was you. Yeah, there is, I think. Or that's in general. Like, no, it, it, I think it, that is in general, but yeah. MP, but, I know yeah. MP Rage is the one where they hit you. Yeah. But how it worked in um first one was like Sephiroth would hit you, and he'd give you like, because he did so much damage, yeah. he'd give you so much MP that you can cure constantly. Yeah. Non-stop. But... I it, was like dodge rolling the whole time. Yeah. But I mean, even if you got hit, you could just cure immediately and it didn't yep. even matter. But I noticed when we were playing through the re-release versions on PS3, I think either they changed how MP Rage works or they got rid of it completely. I thought you had to reach a certain level to get it. But it still didn't even work the same way from what I understood. Yeah. So there was no easy way around beating Sephiroth like the way I used to do it. Because yeah. I tried it again when we were playing through it and I was like, wow, this is a lot harder than I remember. Yeah. And I don't think we even. Yeah. We were just, we were so eager to get back to Kingdom Hearts 2, and finish that. Cause the game just plays so much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It runs better. It just, it's a lot smoother in my opinion. Sora doesn't feel as stiff. Yeah, that's true. So you know, 
because I think we played a bit of Kingdom Hearts 2, then we're like, you know what, we should really finish Kingdom Hearts 1 first. Oh my god, just the controls were just a little bit yeah, different. But... Yeah, a lot stiffer it felt for me. Yeah. That's why I just couldn't play it. But Janelle, you know, kindly finished the whole thing 100%. Yeah. Got the ultimate weapon spin so I, many I, hours. I even like got like all the Dalmatians too. Yes, yeah. 100%. Yeah. She completed this game. I think I got all the treasure boxes. I, I don't remember, remember it, but yeah, you completed it, so props to you. Yeah. But, uh, so you'd say Sephiroth is probably your favorite? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. You did most challenging. Let's say that. Let's go with most challenging. Mm -hmm. I already know what mine is. Gonna be, the like, Clock Tower one yeah, was, I... was challenging, but like, you need determination to defeat this guy. Ah. It's, it's just the fact that, uh, I think, uh, the heart or whatever that it has, like it changes certain colors and you have to use certain magic on it. I never understood that when I was a kid. And then one by one, uh, he like takes away like Peter Pan or whoever is yeah, in your group. That is the worst part of this fight for me. Any any game where there's like a timer on you, yeah. especially like Sonic, like when you fall in the water yeah. and there's you hear the fucking timer going, that shit stresses oh, me yeah. out. Yeah. Like I, you can't even imagine. So in Kingdom Hearts 1, when that, that, that clock tower blossom and I put the timer on you, like, I get too stressed and I get you. It actually, like, took me a, a while to, like, understand how everything works. Like, like, I was, I remember I was, uh, kind of locking on certain things. I'm like, why is it locking on the clock tower? And I realized after that, I need to, uh, lock onto oh, it and then yes. use the, uh, the stop magic and, uh, it would stop the timer. Yeah, I think eventually I figured that out, but it's just, it's still too much for me. Yeah. There was too much shit going on. It was too stressful. And, uh, that's, the, that's the only thing. And boss just the how the, the freaking uh, Heartless would fly around. It was yes, so annoying. That's another thing. You'd be like is, rushing around yeah, that, and you're basically like spinning in that, circles. That's the other thing. It's so like because you're, you're, you're forced to fly in the air. So you have the gliding controls. What's, what's uh, that? You just, is it on? Okay. Yeah. yeah. On. <laughs> so yeah, the gliding controls just make it even more annoying. Whereas with Sephiroth, yeah, and then, so. you know, the part where he uses, like, or whatever he uses, oh, something. Oh, Sephiroth? Yeah, yeah and that. then, like, the big lava, or whatever yeah. it is, like, comes up here. And I didn't know that the guy from Insane. Oh, like, yeah, Lance, Lance Bass, I think his name is. Yeah. Random I choice for a voice actor I for Sephiroth. I didn't know until you told me, and I was like, what? <laughs> Such a random choice, but I mean, hey, good job. Yeah. Uh, okay, Kingdom Hearts 2? Wait, and then Chain of Memories. Wait, right? uh, what's the, uh, movie set in Kingdom Hearts 1? Who was the Kingdom Hearts original that added it to the game? Was there or not? I mean, they, Japan got the final mix version that added in, um, where you fight, who I believe is Zane. Oh, yes, I we did. We did play it. Yeah, we have the final mix version on, yes, on this one. Right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's why I thought it was the version. It was yeah. cool because, like, Insanely uh, hard. <laughs> it happened in the castle, and what was falling from the sky? I, don't know I, I can't it. remember. Yeah, I've, we've only played the, the fight once. Yeah, it was life, insane so. though. Actually, and was, now that I think about it, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, Chain of Memories. This was your first time playing it. Oh my god. I to be honest, I didn't like the cards. Like, just like, you have to pick the right it moves. Took, it took a lot of getting I used to. I was just so used to, like, pressing the attack, the button, and just hit, hit, hit. Uh, magic here, man. Yeah, it definitely added a new layer just of challenge. Just rolling through the cards, and then, like, using that move or whatever, mm -hmm. and then, like, while, like, the heartless and, like, attack. Yeah, I um, know. It was, it's stressful. I, I'm glad I, they got rid of that system and I never did anything I wasn't a fan of it. it, but... I'm glad they never did anything with it again, but... Uh, but I mean, I did have fun when we played through it. It was challenging, it took a lot of getting used to it, but I enjoyed it. The story was okay. Yeah, the story was good. You know, good introduction to all the organization members. And, yeah. Uh, probably a lot of new information for you, since you didn't play it. You did play Kingdom Hearts 2, right? Yeah. So you got to kind of see that little gap in between. Yeah, and I guess how, like, Axel... Yeah, you get a lot more information about just the whole... Just the whole thing in general, like, what what is the organization about? Yeah, yeah, so that was cool. But anyways, Kingdom Hearts 2. Uh... Kingdom Hearts 2 was... Uh, I don't know, I 
that, that one chick that we met was that that's part of Sora, that's part of the Oh, that's different. She was in. Um, I am blanking out right now. I'm pretty sure know. that's the PSP game. Uh, I can't remember which one. Or was it the? I can't remember. Or was it in the second one? It's like additional. No, you don't know. It's in. It's on the second disc, oh, but it's a completely different game. Yeah, I think we could watch it. Watch the video. Yeah, that one was just the video. Um, I can't remember what system that one was on. With C on, I believe. Her name. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if you guys remember what game she was from, like, yeah. But it was a game where you played as Roxas, you know, through the organization. That yeah, so, just how he joined. Yeah. And, uh, so, like I said, we never got to play the game, but we at least watched the video um, that came with the Kingdom Hearts. Pretty sure it was on Kingdom Hearts 2 HD that they put up. But, anyways, Kingdom Hearts 2. Yeah. Now. There's so much about this game that I can see, but I don't want this game. No, I remember the first time I played it, I'm like, what? We're playing this this person? We're not playing Sora? We're playing... We're playing uh, oh my god. Um, I, I wouldn't have minded if it wasn't so long. Like, I didn't understand, like, why are we playing Vox? Like, uh, in the first place. When I first played the game, I'm like, who is this guy? Like, can we what? play Sora already? Six <laughs> hours of Roxas? I mean, the character's okay. He's cool. But yeah. man, I was just wanted to get in the sword and get back yeah. in the story. But I mean, I understand it was necessary. And it, and it was a part of the uh, storyline too. Yeah, yeah, it was important that you played it and got to know the character. And you actually, like, I'm glad that they made you do that because you actually got to feel for Roxas throughout the whole story. Because man, his story is sad. Yeah, and like, I think... Just, just like Axis. I think he thought too, like... Since he is a nobody and he does have feelings, but like the whole time, the organization is like, nobody's don't have feelings. <laughs> I'll never forget Mickey being like, he was the most blunt. He's like, I forgot what he said exactly, but he was like, they're nobodies. They don't exist, Sora. <laughs> don't, don't, don't trust them. And I was like, whoa, damn, Mickey's not messing around here. Um, yeah, but Kingdom Hearts 2, favorite world. Kingdom Hearts 2. Uh, I'm gonna say what mine is. Sure. So, my favorite one was um, getting to go to the uh, Disney Castle. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that was, that was because cool. originally you didn't get to go that. It was Kingdom small, Hearts but yeah. But the one I was most excited about from the trailers that were being released at the time was the Steamboat Willie. Oh, yeah. Because that looked insane. So sick. About how they changed so them into like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, was, it was really awesome. And the music, and I like how they muffled the music. And I'm pretty sure they had like the. You know how Cuphead, Cuphead has like the, the fuzziness to the. Yeah, colors? yeah. I'm pretty sure Steamboat Willie. Maybe really add more green. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, green. I yeah. think they added that. It's been a while since I played it, but. Yeah, that whole world was really cool. Uh, I don't know, like, I do like those worlds. Also, like, it was cool, like, seeing Sora turn into, like, a lion. Oh, Lion King, that was yeah. hype! Yeah. That one was pretty awesome. Lion King, I love it. It just looks beautiful, too. Yeah. The world itself, it's so good. Um, I really like Christmas Town. Yeah. I don't really like, I'm not a fan of Nightmare Before Christmas at all, but Christmas Town looked pretty. Pretty awesome in uh, Kingdom Hearts 2. And actually, they had fun. It was a nice change from you know Halloween Town in the first one, which I really didn't really enjoy. Now, I'm not a fan of the movie. Yeah, I don't know. I I, I didn't mind. Like, I, I like Tron. I don't know how I felt about Tron. Oh god. So I so hated when... the games. To be <laughs> this... honest. So when we were playing, when we decided to play Kingdom Hearts 2 over again, we thought, you know, we're pros. <laughs> we played this millions of times. We're gonna talk critical mode. Yeah. Uh, little did we know, critical mode basically one hit kills you. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes two if you're lucky. Yeah. But yeah, it's basically a one hit kill. So when you had to do um, the, the the games where you're racing on the bikes. Yeah. You, 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 the maximum hits would be like one. Yeah. Like you, if you got hit you could, more than once, then you basically. Yeah. Won. You could take one hit, but any more mistakes, and oh my god, that was so like, annoying. To I get really, like got so frustrated. We had to alternate like back and forth. Yeah. Because like I would get frustrated, like you know what, you take it. Yes. Then he gets frustrated. I'm like, okay, I'm, I I got this, and then. It just, 
So we did actually beat the game on critical mode. We did not beat it 100%. We didn't do like the, the extra bosses, like the organization members. We didn't do the lingering bow. What? On critical. On critical. Oh, yes, yes, yes. But we did beat the game yeah. itself. Yeah. Uh, like we beat Xemnas and then that was it. Yeah. And then all the extra bosses were like, no, we can't do this. Yeah, There's too, no you know, way. Yeah. Um, then, but you know what? Also, then we did play it again. But you know what? I don't think we got all the abilities when we played Critical. Um. I I think it was when we did the next play playthrough on just regular. No, we did. Weren't some like since we uh, were on Critical mode, didn't we already get most of the items, right? I think. Oh well, yeah, a lot of the got majority of a lot of the stuff. abilities we get we got, yeah. but I don't think we got like the super glide. Or, or I don't, the dodge roll. Or the dodge roll. Yeah. So we beat Critical without all those crazy abilities. And like there was a scene uh, in the world that never was where you're versing Roxas and you had to defeat, defeat Roxas. Holy shit. And that there was, was no dodge roll. And he was like... That was the worst boss fight of my life. Yeah. Actually, never mind. The other, the worst is the Stitch world from... PSP oh game. my god. But anyways, we're not talking about that. Forget that flash. We're talking about <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 2. So yeah, after we beat the game on Critical, we did we we wanted to complete it hundred percent, but we knew we weren't gonna be able to do it on Critical because it was just too stressful. It wasn't even fun anymore at that yeah, point. Yeah. It was just too it was too time consuming, too stressful. So we went back and we started the whole game over again on just regular mode, I think. And then uh, once we uh what was it? Um is it what's the place called that where all the organization members were? Oh, um, um, I can't remember garden? what it was. Like, it, it something, changed. Something it changed. Garden. Um, but yeah, I think once we got to that point was when we realized we needed to build the abilities, right? Oh yeah. I think that it was at those bosses where we were like, holy shit, how are we supposed to do this without any dodge roll or glide? Honestly... And like all the different types of... Uh, like uh, transformation yeah. or whatever. Because we played the whole, g we were playing uh, the game and at some point it's like, we can't defeat these guys. And then we realized, yeah. oh my god, we didn't like... Like, I played Kingdom Hearts 2 so many times in my life and I had no idea that you could actually get dodge roll. I didn't know you could. I didn't know you could get the super glide. To be honest, like, when I played Kingdom Hearts 2 a long time ago, I remember getting it. But then when we played your version it just seems like it was a lot more so time much. consuming it changes so much but i don't know if they changed it i on i honestly because i didn't even know you could get these abilities in in kingdom hearts 2 so when i saw that you just had to level up to certain forms and then yeah. you can get dodge roll yeah. and glide i was like holy shit this game is easy as fuck now yeah <laughs> <laughs> um but some bosses were like marluxia was really annoying because he had like some instant kill bullshit that's stuff. like one of my favorite like organization members Marluxia. I, yeah, yeah. I, I just like the, the scythe and the like the rose petals yeah so we took turns uh defeating certain bosses because there were some that janelle was really good at and some that i was uh better at like i i, I did really well against marluxia it took me a lot of tries but um okay. so we're talking about the data forms. So you got the regular oh, forms yes, and yes, then yeah. you got the data forms which are even harder versions. Yeah. So yeah, I beat like Marluxia, you beat uh, Larxene. Larxene, you beat uh, Vexen. Yeah. I was completely lost on Vexen. I tried this boss a few times, I was like, I have no idea what, what I'm doing. I'm getting my ass kicked. And then somehow she beat it. Yeah, I was like, it, was wow. just, it was just more like you ignore the Shadow Heartless or Shadow Sora the whole time. Mm -hmm. That's how I did the I swear to God, I thought we played this before. No, absolutely not. Maybe because, like, yeah, we, pl we took so long in Critical, maybe I'm thinking that yeah. we did play it on Critical. But... We really wanted to, but it was just too challenging. And then I'm like, no, I can't do this, I can't do this. And I think maybe if you won, or something? Okay. I don't know. I'm what, of the organization? Or, or, yeah. No, like, what happened? So I but think. Anyways, you, uh, I think in you... regular mode, like, uh, what other. We, we don't really have to get into it. What do you like, mean? For like a critical mode, like which ones we tried to. Oh, like, I, don't, I don't think we beat any of them in oh. critical, did we? To be honest, I really don't know. I don't think, I don't think we did. I think we tried Larkstein once and then we were like, nope. And then Freaking, that was it. Uh, I remember when you were uh, in critical mode, when you were reversing like Zigbar, like the, in the, like, the first time you uh, 
Tatum. And oh, yeah. yeah and Holy that shit. That was insane. I was watching the whole time. He was just like, shooting everywhere. Oh, my gosh. It was, yeah, it was intense. Man, it's some cuphead shit right there. <laughs> um, but anyways, like, back to um, regular mode when we were first seeing all the data forms of the organization. Yeah, those were really challenging. Like, uh, I picked that. I, I killed Axel. No, I, I I beat Axel. Um, actually, I can't remember. I think you beat most of the like the regular ones, and yeah. then when it got to the data forms, um, I kind of just I think I beat most of them. Yeah, but, but I, you I you beat the ones that I was struggling with, like Vexen. You beat um, that guy with the giant like fucking. Oh my god. The fucking blade. Yeah, the red blade or whatever. yeah yeah. I don't remember his name. Yeah, me neither. But whew, yeah, it was tough. And then. The ultimate challenge. Oh, she also beat Sephiroth. Yeah. Let's not forget that. Easily! Yeah. I gotta make that clear. It wasn't even a challenge. She destroyed Sephiroth. I think and after- And I was shocked and I was pissed. I think it was like, after, you know, facing all those organization members, and then going to Sephiroth, they were like, wow, this is really easy. easy. Yeah. <laughs> Cause we're like, oh, Sephiroth, he's gonna be the hardest. We gotta save him for last. And then, nah, he was a joke compared to the rest of them. But, who was not a joke? Lingering will. Oh my god. Rest in peace, my sanity. <laughs> Holy fuck, that 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 fight was It was cool. Like uh It was like awesome. Scenes, it was I mean? awesome to watch. Yeah. The lingering will. It was a lot of fun to play, but after about the 99th time dying, the fun kinda wears off. <laughs> Yeah, I tried a few times. It was like okay, but he he the one he was the one who did. You really it. need a lot of uh, uh, luck. Yeah. Make like because there's certain moves that you know he might do a little less often and sometimes. He used, like those orbs that would follow you. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I know. And like when he's on his little fucking. Or when he locks your right? fucking commands. Oh yeah. That is the worst. Wait, you, wait I think uh, it's if you don't time it right, like you can escape it, right? Right. Oh yeah, I, th I think, I think, think you can. He, he like, like, a, I think it's a sword or something. I think there's like a. I can't remember now, but yeah, I think you can dodge it if you time it just perfectly. But if you miss, then yeah, he'll walk your attacks or, or he'll end or your magic. Magic, yeah, and that was just fucking insane. Yeah. It's because we were watching a bunch of videos on how to defeat this guy. We saw a lot of people using the limit form, right? Yeah. And uh, that somewhat helped. Right? I couldn't really figure out how to make the most use of that. I used the master for mostly because of all the damage that you could get in, yeah. in, in a very short period of time. So that that's how I did it with the master form. Switched to the limit just when I needed like the health boost back. But why, Tara? Why have to attack Sora? I know. Like this is like Sora is like the like is it is it a different de generation? Like <laughs> Sora is the good guy. Why do you have to be that? Maybe, uh, what was the, he was saying in, in his, like, uh, monologue or whatever, saying, like, you see, oh, yeah, uh, uh, what's his name, uh, not, oh, yes, Vic, uh, uh, Ventus. Ventus yeah. yeah, he was just like, I recognize you. Yeah. Or, whatever, or your presence Something is familiar like that. or whatever. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, my God. But, yeah, it was a lot of, it was a lot of fun. And, yeah, completing that was, felt good for us. Yeah. Beat the whole game. And then, so we got Birth by Sleep. Yep. Birth by Sleep. Well, yeah, we get. Yeah, I think I picked Aqua first, and then I went to Tira, and then did I went. Did you do Aqua first? Yeah, I think we did Aqua first. I was like, Girl Power! And then you did, you did Terra. No, then... I did. No, I did uh, Ventus. Did... Oh. I did Ventus, and that's why it was such a pain in the ass, because he's so fucking weak. Yeah. And so, defeating that Stitch boss, you know, you did like a little sliver of health. It took me like an hour oh. to beat this guy. It was ridiculous. Yeah. Did you play it on critical at all? No, I think we just played on regular because oh. we weren't used to the system. We didn't know yeah. what kind of stuff we were going to expect. So. And like I was like so used to like the same thing. You would have to press triangle and points through. Yeah, slightly different, different commands. Yeah. But um, we got used to it eventually. But once we figured out how to... That, I think that was why we had so much trouble with Ventus. It's because we didn't figure out how to level up. Remember, you have to like, um, you gotta like mix um, items or abilities or something, right? To strengthen, oh. to like get level 2 cure, yeah. and then level 3 cure. Like, we didn't understand that when we were play first playing Adventus. Yeah. And um, 
Oh, sorry. <laughs> when we were first playing as Ventus and, and Aqua. Yeah. But once we figured it out, uh, Terra's one was like a breeze, right? Yes. Yeah, it also helped because, yeah. It was cool, like, uh, the amount of times that you use a certain, like, magic move, and, like, all of a sudden you get, like, this. Oh, yeah, form yeah, yeah. Where it uses, like, you know, mm -hmm. lightning or fire. Yeah. Well, like, like a short period. I, it, 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 I was like, I was surprised how good the game actually was because I've had it for for a few years since you know they released it on the Kingdom Hearts 2 HD. But I played it for probably like 15 minutes and then never went back to it. And then you know a few years later, you know with Janelle, I'm like, you know, let's play through all the games. And yeah. So, and I think it was my first time playing Robert Yeah. Because like way back in the day, like. It was After, only on PSP, right? Yeah, so, and I didn't have a PSP. Yeah, I didn't play any of the handheld games, like the except only, the Chain of Memories. The only PSP game I played was, like, I had to borrow somebody's PSP, and it was, like, Silent Hill Origins. But oh. at the time, I, like, after Kingdom Hearts 2, I literally thought there was nothing else like yeah. Kingdom Hearts. I didn't look into it anymore, and I don't think there was a lot of uh, advertisements about it. Well, I knew there were, like, all these other games, but I was like, eh, I don't really care about the handheld games. Just or, give me Kingdom Hearts 3. I think I knew, and I'm like, I don't even really kiss me. Yeah, there's nothing we can do, but, you know, but I'm glad they released the games on uh, the, the consoles, which is really cool. And, you know, we got the experience. Them. Yeah. And it, it really like added to the depth of the story. Yeah, even like uh, it was cool. Like you, you get to meet like Snow White. Yeah. Right? Oh yeah, yeah. A lot of characters that you don't see in the other games. You got to go to Cinderella's castle. Oh my god! Them. You know the part when you're like you're in the the um, mine place or whatever. Oh yeah, and yeah. You're trying to find every freaking oh the the dwarf. The dwarf. Or whatever, <laughs> and it's like it was so annoying. Oh man, yeah, there's a lot of like annoying missions. In the timing has to be right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that was, it was a really fun game. I like a lot of the worlds they, they brought. I didn't think of like. What? Uh, I like Neverland. I like Neverland. Yeah, I thought that was Never, cool. Neverland yeah. was cool. Um, I didn't really like Deep Space. I think it was called Deep Space. Stitches. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think it was called Deep yeah, Space. Yeah, it was okay. Um, but yeah, like I said, I really like Snow White going yep. to there and yeah, Cinderella's castle. Yep. Fighting with the giant cat. Oh. That was that was fun. Yeah. Wild. This how like uh yeah. Just uh, Lucifer. Lucifer. Yeah. That was a fun that was a fun boss battle, so Yeah. <laughs> yeah. First by Cinderella. Really um Yeah, I would say my favorite character was I was like Aqua. Oh yeah? Yeah. I would say Aqua was definitely the coolest, but you know, Terra was like he was so beefy. He was strong. Yeah, like, could... but his ending, unfortunately, yeah. sucked. Oh yeah. All of their endings. By the way, yeah, the bosses. Uh, I think I was. Oh, I think gosh. I was uh, Ventus, and I'm bursting the boss of uh, Venus or whatever. And, like, Holy yeah. That was just ugh. Like that took me a while. Yeah. It was just I did not like it. Well, uh, really challenging final bosses for the game. Yeah. I was impressed. Well, I, I think Terra's was, was like the craziest. Mm -hmm. From what I remember. Yeah. Yeah. And then Aqua's was just not, not, not really. I don't remember hers being too crazy. I think you had Mickey in that one. Yeah. I think Mickey was helping uh, you too. Person... Well, not Zeke Barber, whatever his name was. Yeah. Uh, just... I, don't yeah I can't remember his, his regular name. Uh, I'll just call him by his nobody name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a really good story. Um, so I think that was all the games except for Fragmentary Passage. This one with Aqua? <coughs> what about uh, Dream Drop Distance? Oh right, Dream Drop Distance. Yep. How many? How long are we in here? This is like a half hour video. Oh well. I'm sorry guys. Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure you guys got a lot to say as well. So. so Dream Drop Distance. We only played the game... We only played it once. Yeah. But we only played Birth by Sleep once as well. But Dream Drop was awesome. I loved it. My favorite thing yeah. about it was how you switch between Sora and Riku because yeah. it really made it fun for us to play because she really likes Sora yeah. and I really like Riku so every time the, the, the drop gauge emptied it's like you're good yeah we would controller. just switch and it was really cool that you could do that probably we, sh we should play it one more time I would love to play it again because, to be honest because like just the storyline and sometimes like yeah, yeah I would love to play it again then you, you take Riku and I'll play for the Sora this time because Riku had some really challenging bosses at the end. Yeah, yeah. I, I think. No, no, you take it. Because <laughs> yeah, I think like Sora's ended at a certain point, and then Riku he had like one boss after another. Um, 
which I think was Young Xehanort. Anyways, yeah, I think Young Xehanort was was the challenging one. Yeah, Dream Drop Distance was so fun. The Three Musketeers world, that was dope to oh, see. Oh yeah, that was cool. Um, I can't think of any other rules. We only played it once. What's that? Which is that? Man, I can't remember now. Like, we only played it like when it came out and then that was it. And we were, it was hard to take in all that new what stuff. What was that thing that, like, we were in a dungeon or something like that? Oh, was that? Oh, wait, that was with the mirrors, right? Or, wait, no, I think I'm mixing you're, it. You're Sorry. thinking of fragmentary yeah. passage. Yeah, yeah. But, but anyways, yeah, I don't know. It's not really much else to say about Dream Drop. We only played it once, but we'll probably be streaming it. I thought it was cool, too, with, like, Riku's, uh, wait, what's it? No, I'm thinking of, uh, Chain of Memories. Is, isn't it when, like, or maybe it was in this game what? where, like, Riku's, uh, Keyblade kept changing. Like, it was, like... It was dark, like it had like the dark keyblade, and then eventually, like over time, like since like he over over like, uh, like in the darkness, then his keyblade was changing. Like you could see like the dip like it was more like a demonic look before, and then eventually it, it had could, some wings. It on could it. be Chain of Memories you're thinking of, but yeah. there was a fake Riku walking around in Chain of Memories. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that could be what you're thinking of. I can't really remember. Yeah, but, I don't remember. But, uh, I don't know if it was if it was in that dream drop distance. Well, you know, we'll have to play it again. Yeah. And uh, we'll probably be streaming it, so whenever we have time, we'll let you guys know. You can tune in for that and talk more to the marks with us. Yeah. But anyways, fragmentary passage. Let's get to that one. Now, we've only played this one once as well as it just came out earlier this graphics year. Graphics were insane graphics. Good job, Square. Yeah. Uh, it was it was a lot darker than I was expecting. Uh, there was a, it was, it's really more of a demo for Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah. More than anything. Um, but yeah, it just looked fantastic. It ran smoothly. It, it was great seeing Aqua again. And it was, uh, it blew my mind how it connected. Okay, sorry. So it blew my mind how it was connected to Kingdom Hearts 1. Yep. It, it was a prequel story to Kingdom Hearts 1. Yep. And it's funny because I was, I was talking to Janelle and, we were watching that one scene where Mickey shows up and he's got his his kingly outfit on. Yeah. I was like, oh, they fucked up. Because in the original, he was just wearing his regular Mickey Mouse outfit with just the shorts, yeah. no shirt and everything. And then they they tied it in. They yeah. actually made it part of the story. Yeah. Which was so dope. I was like, wow, I swear. Good, good job, guys. You know, that, was, that was sick. Small details like that really like goes a long way. To, to show that they really like put a lot of thought into. Also, like I like the customizations that you could do. Yeah, I I'd be surprised if Kingdom Hearts three doesn't have that option for they for Sora. Sh they should. That'd be that'd be dope. Yeah, because it would be weird to like introduce it into this game and then not have it in the, and then the next game. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it'd be. I really hope they they keep the customization because I thought it was cool. I hope we could customize Donald. You know? Dress him up also, like, cool. uh, I like the uh, puzzles in the, in the oh fragmentary yeah. passage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a yeah, it was a lot more puzzle uh, based and action based in my opinion. I, I, I actually liked it. Maybe uh, they should have incorporated in the third one more more puzzles. Yeah, yeah. If that's what you. Who knows? I mean, like I said, I feel like it was more of a demo for Kingdom Hearts Three, so maybe that's kind of like what they're trying to do is implement more puzzles because a lot of the Final Fantasy games have a lot of puzzle uh, aspects to it, so yeah. maybe they're thinking that they want to implement more of that in the series. So. Yeah, but besides that, yeah, very good fashion. It was fun. I, I will definitely play it again. It just looks beautiful. <laughs> yeah, um, it was good. Yeah, so that's kind of... I think that's what I'm, trying to, I'm trying to think what else they like, can... We could talk about this for hours. So. Uh, yeah, even like, uh, yeah, Fragmented Is that what it's called? Fragment, Fragmentary, I can't remember. It, it, but, but with Aqua in general, like, it, it was cool that, like, uh, you're with Mickey. Like, Mickey sometimes joins you. Or, oh, yeah, or yeah, yeah. at the end of the game, he comes and helps you out mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah. It was, uh, really cool. And, like, the boss was wild. Just yeah. everything, all the graphics. Oh, my God. Uh... 
there was this one part where you kind of like like sliding on these branches and you have to dodge all these monsters <laughs> to get a certain item or something and oh my god like i just oh, kept yeah, getting yeah, hit you're... by this one or yeah I, I wanted to get this one item that i wanted to wear so it would like match my costume but like i kept getting hit every time that's so <laughs> but you did anyway yeah right? i eventually got i was like yes or i thought i did and then it, it, i didn't hear like the that sound where you got something and i'm like i swear to god i didn't get hit like, what the hell? determination I yeah determination <laughs> um yeah so i guess that about does it just want to talk about kingdom hearts um probably from here on we'll probably be doing more kingdom hearts videos uh, we'll definitely be covering any like new trailers or any new information that comes out. Yeah. So you know we'll try to keep you guys as updated as possible. We'll try to stay updated ourselves. Uh, like I said, we could try and hopefully stream some Kingdom Hearts eventually when we have time. Yeah. Um, more like uh, just playing it through, right? Not like doing a hundred percent. No, no, no. We're just yeah. play it casually. Um, you know, get us hyped for Kingdom Hearts three, which should be coming out next year. Yep. As far as I know, it is scheduled for next year. Who knows when next year? Yeah. But hopefully they tell us soon. Um, but anyways, let us know your favorite like Kingdom Hearts memories, your favorite bosses, your favorite worlds, uh, just anything that you love about Kingdom Hearts. Stuff you're hoping for in Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh, that's one thing I want to talk about. It's something that I hope for Kingdom Hearts 3 is the Colosseum. I didn't really like what they did in Kingdom Hearts 2 with the Colosseum. Where you like collect orbs and, and stuff. Oh, oh yeah, what about Dream Drop Distance? Yeah. Uh, oh, the Coliseum in Dream yep. Drop? Yeah, and then you meet that one character from Oh, Final Zach. Yeah. Zach. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was really cool. I actually really like the... That one, yeah, I like how they, the, the Coliseum is more like just the story as opposed to an arena. Yeah. From what I remember it means. But yeah, like I said, I didn't really like Kingdom Hearts 2's uh, way they did the Coliseum just with like the goals and the stuff, yeah, whereas yeah. opposed to you know, Kingdom Hearts 1, you just fight the monsters. Yeah. I prefer that. I thought that was a lot more fun, so I hope they do that again. <laughs> we'll see. Well, I guess now we should like uh, make a prediction, like what we should see. Like, so, or we kind of already did in, in our yeah, we we talked about it, but else. what we think we'll see. Honestly, I have no idea now. Because, yeah, because you know, they're gonna keep it like I know. down low. They don't want to say anything. They got Marvel now. That's gonna be crazy. Are they really gonna put Marvel in Kingdom Hearts? Spider Man, Cloud, and Sora, that's Donald that's and Goofy, Thor. <laughs> that that just seems so weird. <laughs> Bizarre. Darth Vader. Disney owns everybody right now. Yeah, that's true. It's gonna be insane if they include all those characters in the in, in the game. It's oh gonna be God. huge. Yeah, like if, if they're gonna, like if this is gonna be the last one, then maybe. yeah, they may as well go all out. But then there's, I bet like if they they are gonna go all out, then someone's gonna be like, they didn't add this. Oh yeah, <laughs> people are always gonna be complaining and disappointed and then, about certain things. And then when they're just make another game, so this is it. It's already oh, took I them guess. like ten years to make Kingdom Hearts three. I don't see another game coming. Yeah, it must be a lot of work. I would assume because. It's taken this long. Oh, uh, we forgot to talk about the uh, um, uh, key masters like, way in the past, like with the videos, uh, the four oh! the foretellers or whatever. Oh, what was that? Like we we just like we only watched the videos once. I don't remember the names, but like it kind of gave you a backstory. Yeah, it was, it was whatever, pretty interesting. Started. But I mean, yeah. there's so much mystery as to it as well. It was hard to like keep up with what was happening. I think everything was in order, but then it ended up turning into chaos. I would have to watch it again. Because they had Like, someone was spreading something around. Yeah, one guy was being a little crazy. A little sketchy. Yeah, yeah, a little sketchy. And then all of a sudden everyone's fighting and it's like, yeah. But it was fun to watch. I'm glad they put stuff like that. Like on the, the the consoles, and we played the app as well. Just oh yeah, we did. Yeah, we played the app for a bit. Um, we're gonna have to play it more. Yeah. But yeah, it was fun for the little bit that we played. But we couldn't figure out how to get the multiplayer working if there even is multiplayer. But, yeah. Um, but anyways, yeah. Like I said, let us know all your favorite Kingdom Hearts memories and stuff, your favorite worlds, and you know, just leave a comment, and then we will talk about them in the next video. Because I would love to hear what you guys think of Kingdom Hearts. Your favorite worlds, your 
who your most challenging bosses were? And probably when you guys like mention in your comments what you like, what you dislike, then like, oh yeah, I remember. Oh yeah, that's always oh. that's always the reverse movie. You see somebody mention it, like, oh god, yeah, that's right. It's like sometimes you just block the worst things from your memory, stuff yeah. that scarred you, you know. <laughs> so it's like I'm not playing this shit again. <laughs> and someone brings it up, it's like, oh my god, I remember. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, yeah, that about does it. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.